Shalom, my dear brothers and sisters. I have another amazing word just for you. Remember, you have not clicked on this message by mistake. You are not watching me by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you have clicked on this powerful word. My brothers and sisters, I know there's a lot that has been happening in your lives. And on a daily basis, some of you have been attacked. Some of you have lost a lot of precious time because you have had to deal with enemies. You have had to deal with your haters. You have had to deal with evil people on a daily basis. This is not something that happens uh, once or three times. Some of it happens every day. You literally drag yourself to work. Brothers and sisters, today's word is for you. That the word is, your enemies will not escape. In fact, they will be put to shame and regret. Some of your enemies have been escaping. They have been getting away with their, with their, with their evil and diabolic schemes. They have been getting away with their lies. Some of you at your workplace, you have manipulated people, wicked people, who have been getting away every day with their diabolic plans. But this time around, they will not escape because God is going to deal with them one by one. You will see them falling. You will see them actually going away. They will live even without saying the cause, the reason, the reason that as to why they are living. They will just abandon their diabolic plans. They will abandon their plans halfway. My brothers and sisters, I love the scripture that says, show me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see and be put to shame. When God shows you a sign of his goodness and your enemies see it, surely they will be put to shame. Because some of them expected you never to make it at this time. Some of you actually think that you are gone. They think that that trap they set up will kill you. Some of them expect you to die, to have died a long time ago. They never expected you to survive. But when they see you healthy, when they see you smiling, when they see you in that new house, when they see you in that new car, surely they will be put to shame. When they see you with your new spouse, married, happily living together, those that pronounce witchcraft, those that cast you, will be put to shame. My brothers and sisters, you just have to trust in God. Cling on his promises because his promises are yes and amen. In fact, God is going to make a public spectacle of your enemies. I love the scripture that says, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them he made a public spectacle, triumphing over them in it. This is Jesus. Jesus made a public spectacle of the enemy. Having disarmed principalities and powers. Do you know that Jesus had victory over the enemy? I'm talking about total and complete victory. It was done. It was finished. That's why you see on the cross it says, it is finished. Whatever is bothering you is finished. Whoever is coming against you is finished. They don't know who they are attacking. They don't know what man of one man and woman they are coming up against. Those witches that keep threatening you, that keep pronouncing curses on you, they don't know that it is by them cursing you, it bounces back to them. It reverses back to them. It's like a mirror boom, boom, to them. My brothers and sisters, you are going to overcome. You are going to win. And every battle, you will overcome. I love David. That David was victorious in, in his battles. Even in the kingdom, he had people fighting against him. He had King Saul fighting against him. He had enemies who were sent to spy him, to fight against him, to say all these funny words against him. But he became victorious. He overcame them. My brothers and sisters, you are going to disarm your enemy. You are going to defeat them. 
and they will return no more. I love one of the scriptures that says that uh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons that are your, your disposal, they are mighty through God. You have an arsenal at your disposal. Weapons that are not made by men. Weapons that the kings and presidents of this world, the rulers of this world, will never understand. They will even never get a hold of. A lot of them have desired to have the weapons that you have, but they cannot comprehend it. They, because your life is a mystery. They try to attack you, but you overcome them. You are 10 steps ahead of them. You are far away from them. They try to locate your address, your physical address, but they cannot find you. Some of them are looking for you, but they are so blind when they come to you. They cannot actually figure out who you are because God has protected you. Scripture says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. My brothers and sisters, God's name is a strong tower. Do you know what that means? It is a strong tower. Not these funny, funny towers that someone just wakes up in the day and says that this, oh, this is a strong tower. No, his name is a strong tower. Forever a strong tower. When you run to it, you will be safe. That is why some of you have been surviving. Many of you have been surviving. You are able to watch me right now because you have been kept in the name of the Lord. That disease that you have, it will not take you down. That death that you have, you are going to overcome it. That problem that is in your, in your life, that situation that has been stagnant, you are going to become victorious. That barrenness that is in your life, you are going to be victorious. That court case that is coming up in your life, you are going to testify. This is the word I have for you. This is a word that is going to bless you. My brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to stay connected. Jesus loves you. Jesus is king and God is above everything. Until next time, shalom.